Hey guys, how y'all doing tonight? Hope you're doing good. Uh, gonna do a gun video. It's gonna be about, as you can see, I don't know if you can or not, this is a Walther P22. I'm doing it with my better camera tonight because I wanna, I wanna show you some details, you know, more details on this gun. You know, the webcam just don't pick up as good. And, uh, you know, the Glocks are pretty much just square blobs anyway. Not much to look at. You know, they're, pro they're the best gun in the world, in my opinion. But they're not much to look at, so. But anyway, I'm going to go behind the camera for a second. Get you guys a little bit more of a close-up shot. See there, it says Walther P22. And, uh, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you. Safety check. Gun is empty. You do got to put the magazine back in the gun to let the hammer back down. So, but anyway, yeah, like I said, this is a P22 Walther. Uh, I've had this gun probably. Well, I probably bought it back last July, probably July or August. So, uh, love this little gun. I've shot this gun more than any other gun I own since summer, since June. And uh, love this little gun. And I've also, I also want to show y'all something too, as you if you can see it. I'll do it in the in the mirror there. I hope you can see it. I bought the uh, the Sig. I mean the Walther. Did I? I don't know why I said Sig. The Walther. The Walther uh, laser. Uh, you know, most of the time, original equipment things are higher, you know. You would think that the Walther laser light would be more expensive for a Walther gun than an aftermarket, but that's not the case. The aftermarket laser, for, you know, for this gun is like 200 bucks, and the Walther one was $95. So, I bought that and put on it. Uh, you know, it, it, it works pretty good, you know, just... Short range shooting and stuff, you know, just to get you on target, does pretty good. You know, it's not uh, deadly accurate like they portray them in the movies, but it does pretty good. But anyway, like I was saying, guys, it's a real good little gun. I've shot this more than any other gun I own since summer. Um, and uh, I just love it. Like I said, it's easy to handle. It's cheap to shoot. It's shot any ammo that I've put through it. I've put Winchester Super X through it. I've put the regular Winchester, you know, the, like the 1,280 feet per second ammo through it. I've put the 1,340 feet per second ammo through it. I've put Federal ammo through it. Um, I've put, uh, well, I can't think of any more. I guess I'm uh, having a, a camera block or uh, instead of rider's block, I'm having camera block, but Anyway, I, I've never had a feed problem with this gun. I've never had it jam. A lot of guys on the internet are bad-mouthing this gun, this and the Sig Mosquito. I've never had a never had a jam in this gun. And and for you guys that shoot 22s, you know that's saying something. Because 22s are so bad for jamming, you know. 22s, I think because of the quality of the ammunition, you don't have a lot of power to start with. A lot of times they won't cycle the slide. So, uh, But this gun has never... Had a misfire, you know, that I can remember. I don't think it has. I'm pretty sure that it's never had a misfire. Uh, the only other 22 that I've shot that has anywhere close to that track record is a 1022 Ruger. I've got one of those too, and I'll show you guys that someday. But uh, great little gun, no problems with it. Uh, feels good in in the hand, you know. It's a smaller gun. You can wrap your hand around it good, and it feels good in your hand. Uh, accurate little gun, you know, to have a 3.4 inch barrel. It just does real good. I mean, you know, I I don't have all the specifics, you know, like some of these other gun reviewers and stuff do, but it's just a dandy little gun. You know, that's all I can tell you guys. You know, you're looking in the, I think I give 300, it's either 320 or 340 dollars for this gun. I think 320. And uh, worth every penny. I mean, just a dandy little gun. Fine little gun. And uh, 
like I said, it just it works real good. It'd be a good gun for a, for a woman, you know. Actually, one of my friends bought one of these in the carbon fiber edition for his wife, and she shoots with it. Uh, loves it. And, uh, a lot of guys don't like these guns because they say they're too small, but you know I've got pretty big hands. You guys can see, and uh, it fits me pretty good. I can get my pinky on the bottom of it, and you know it just. I love it, like I said, you know. Um, and for you guys that that think, well, that wouldn't be a good self-defense gun because, you know, a twenty two is just going to make somebody matter. A 300-pound guy on PCP, yeah, you're probably right. But, you know, you're probably not going to stop him anyway. You better just run from him. Most people, you know, that's why the mob, you know, I hate to be more big guys, but, you know, the mob, you know, they use – or according to all the, the statistics that you hear, the mob uses 22s more than any other gun to do hits. And that's because a 22 bullet, when it gets inside the body, it don't have enough power to exit the body. So it bounces around back and forth and it just tears, you know, it just tears stuff up. So you can actually do more damage with a 22 than you can a bigger gun. Now, that's ultimately... As soon as you shoot somebody with this, it may not have the devastating knockdown power like a 40 caliber or, you know, a 10 millimeter or 357 or something like that. But ultimately, in damage, you can do as much with this. So, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't hesitate to carry this as a concealed carry gun. I wouldn't. And uh, I'm going probably next Saturday and taking my concealed carry class. And... Uh, I'm still hashing it over whether to take this or to take the uh, 40 caliber Glock, which I'll probably take the Glock. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of debating between the two. But anyway, guys, like I said, I just wanted to do this video showing my Walther P22. Nice little gun. And uh, I highly recommend if you guys run across one for, for a, you know, what you think's a fire deal, if you can afford it. You know, I know times are tough right now. That's why I'm having to buy guns on a layaway. That's the only reason. That's the only thing that keeps me to still being able to buy guns right now is my friend you know at his uh, uh, place where he sells guns he does layaway and uh, that's what I've been doing so like I said I know money's tight but if you got the money and you can afford it get one of these little Walther P22s you won't be disappointed thanks guys I'm gonna make a video tomorrow showing uh, I'm gonna hopefully tomorrow God willing I'm going to go pick my SIG Equinox up out of layaway. So uh, if I do get it sometime over this weekend, I will make a video of it. Thanks, guys. Bye.